Hey, what's up guys? Jeremiah here. I know I haven't posted a video in a while because I've been so busy working on my house here trying to get some drywall finished and getting some painting done, but I just wanted to do a quick video on uh, an issue that I had with my Ford F-150 and I'm going to show you guys what happened. I had to get towed home, so I'll show you the cause of it and how I fixed it. I was on my way home from work the other day, traveling about 45 mile an hour down the road, and all of a sudden my 2005 Ford F-150, which is right here, uh, just instantly died on me. It didn't completely die. I lost all power. The engine was still running, but the RPMs wouldn't go up or anything. So I hurried up and pulled over and the motor was still running, but really, really rough. And as soon as I pulled over, I turned the radio down to hear it and it died. So I tried to start it back up. It would not start. A few minutes later, it started, but it was running really rough. It stalled again. So then I had my neighbor come and pick me up and uh, it would not start after that. So I had to get it towed home and luckily it threw a code and I have a code reader. So when I put that on the code reader, it came up as a PO191 uh, fuel rail pressure sensor circuit range performance. And basically I called my uncle. He's been a Ford tech for a lot of years up in New York and awesome mechanic. And uh, he pointed me in the right direction and told me that it was the fuel pump driver module that goes bad on a lot of these because where they mount them at is up behind a spare tire on the, on the rail of the, the uh, bed of the truck. And the problem is, is that uh, it's aluminum. Let me see here if you guys can see this. Uh, right there you can see I took it off and cleaned it up it's held on by two bolts and with that little plug there the easiest thing to do is to drop the spare tire down to get to it and again this is on a 2005 Ford F-150 now the problem is is that the back side of the module where is that bud Where's a little helper there he's gonna get get them for us so the the back side of the module is aluminum and it's mounted directly to the to the frame of the truck and you can see it corrodes because the aluminum and the steel doesn't go good together so I had to go up and get a new one show us the new one bud so here's the new one it was hundred and five dollars at advanced auto but I used a 25% off coupon code did a pick online pickup uh, ordered it online did a pickup in store got it for like 84 bucks so let's see the back of that one again bud that used one so you can see how it corroded and put a hole straight through it. And what this does is it controls uh, your fuel pump kicking on and off and basically the pressure that goes up to your fuel fuel rail or to your engine. So you'll see that the new one actually comes with new bolts and it comes with spacers. So once you put the uh, bolt through, you put the spacer on and it sets it up off the frame a little bit so that the new one doesn't corrode like the old one did. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this put on there and uh, hopefully it fires right up. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this first one started. Make sure it's seated on there all the way. And then you'll be ready to crank your spare tire back up. But I'm gonna go ahead and start it up and see if it fixed the issue. And she starts. So thanks Uncle Rod for the advice on the fuel module. And I hope this helps you guys out. If your vehicle, if your Ford stalls and you think it's a fuel issue with the fuel pump, make sure you don't have one of these modules and make sure that's not your issue first. So thanks for watching guys. Please like, subscribe. Uh, share if you think anybody can use this information and i'll see you guys on the next one i'm gonna get back to some drone videos i promise i may post a few more construction videos installing a shower floor pan and stuff for any of you that are interested i'll be back to making videos again soon so just please bear with me guys thanks again for watching and see you on the next one